The damn game keeps crashing on me. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, stabbed this thing in the back. It uh, opened up some gateways for me, but I'm not really going to explore that just yet. I'm instead going to go over this direction. Uh, Fire Reaver? Yeah, here we go. Always good to have the right Reaver. considered to be a pretty, uh, like, rather unique way of having in-game puzzles and that kind of stuff back in Soul Reaver. By this point, though, it just becomes a little bit of a chore to have to jump back and forth between the spectral and material realms so much. Okay. We have to go and... Um break that window, but we're going to have to do that in the material realm, of course, because we can't do anything in the spectral realm. This mysterious chamber was clearly significant. Perhaps I would finally find the elusive Vorador within. Would you? Would you really? Damn it! Have a little fire! were all lit, but still the door remained sealed. Perhaps I had ignited too many. Yeah, perhaps you did. But, uh, whatever. They're all lit now. I'm just gonna go about that. Let's go back and break that window. He's got himself a big place here. Now that we are back in the material realm, we can break stuff. Of course, there are freaking demons. So we have to fight them now. Ah. 
Oh shit. There's another one behind there. Isn't that one was hiding behind the pillar the whole time? Just like in the earlier parts of the game, you fall into this mist, it will actually kill Raziel. I guess one of the few instances in the series where Raziel is actually in danger of dying. It's a shame because it's a platforming section. Platforming in this game sucks. <laughs> I made it though. Barely. Oh. Well, looks like I'm not going to make another jump. There we go. Oh, okay, it's right here. Post-processing effect that they put over the screen to kind of give you the whole um, spectral realm look of, like, double vision kind of hurts my eyes a bit. Couldn't really see what I was looking at there. Ah, alright, here we go. Creature! Damn it! Why did I kill you? fountain behind that. Didn't need to put the fire out or anything, that was good. So, ah, damn it, here we go. Let me go on. 
on now. See feathery wings on that. Uh, oh, looks like I can climb that. No, I can climb that. All right. Shit. <laughs> Terrible perspective. Anyway, we have another puzzle here. I can't quite remember how this one goes, but uh, there should be something over here. I gotta move. Here we go. This game came out over ten years ago. It's really been about that long since I really played through it. So I apologize if I sort of muddle around a little bit like an idiot, not really sure on where I need to be. It's been, uh, it has been quite a while, and, like, whereas, say, uh, actually not really any of the games that I really have a really firm memory of what I had to do at any one point, especially with the first game. I kind of got lost running around in the first game. If anything, it was probably Blood Omen 2, which was the easiest for me to get through, and that's not really so much because I remembered it as much as it is that it was a largely, uh, like a more linear experience, less backtracking and doing puzzles that require you to remember that, hey, there's a door back there I couldn't get through before, that kind of thing. Let me throw. How many did I get? Three? Three more. I got that one. Hello. This looks like I can pull it out. Everybody loves box puzzles. Is that thing shimmering? Or I pulled this box out. There must have been a reason for that. Or is the box really just so I can get up there and activate that one? That's kind of a disappointment if that's the case. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, how do I get in there? Well, this thing's got to be for something. Touch it! Touch it! Ow! <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh, there's another box up there I can pull out. Here it is. It has handles, but not like Raziel's gonna use them anyway. There we go. Okay, one more, and I know where it is. I just gotta figure out how to get at it. It'll probably have something to do with this angel. I guess it's not really an angel, probably a vampire. does have something to do with it. Ah! 
Oh, okay, I get it. That should do it. And that'd be the last one. Light it up, fool. And there's another staff. Yeah, wrong way. Take it. There we go. Alright, now we need to... Yeah, thanks for looking at it, Razael. How about you do something about that? Probably gotta find something to put in the door so we can open it. But, I got the staff. So now I can go jam it into the statue back at the fountain. Probably run into a bunch of damn monsters or something by the time I get there, but, uh, whatever. Just run past most of them. This camera angle is terrible. It's not Crash Bandicoot. Can't get away with that. Yeah. Where am I? Am I in the main hall? sure which staff I have.
Not sure which one I have here, so I'll just try this one. One more waterfall to go. Fountain, whatever. There we go. Now that goes and, uh, just like the one on the other side, it went and opened up a series of doors that we can maybe get through. Not doors, it a bunch of things. So we had... We have uh, shattered the murals on the walls and stuff, so we can go and get through some nuts, get into some new areas. These murals were attuned somehow to those in the fountain room, for this wall too had shattered. Hadn't shattered yet, but we're taking the rest of the way. Yeah, some some girl in here. Just, uh, just before there was an inmate snack or whatever. And why he would uh, lock somebody up in a room and then brick over the wall, that doesn't make any sense. He intended to come back and eat them later. But I think video game logic. Birth of a thousand beams. Whatever, I'll leave you guys with burn. Looks like you can break that one down then, but no. Anyway, this episode's gone on for a while now, so I'm gonna bring it to an end. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Hopefully, we'll find Horridor.